Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I know you've missed that, haven't you? And I know you've missed the question of the day, so here we go. But let's start with this idea of the Nazi New Order first. So following France's crushing defeat in 1940, um, as you can see, one of the things behind the scenes was this idea of the Nazis trying to... Um, enforce their culture on the rest of Europe as well. And you may remember from last unit, some of those things would have been art, music, etc., cetera, um, based on this idea of Aryan supremacy. Um, but something really interesting, let's go next door to the White Rose Movement. These were um, some really brave kids. Hans Scholl, Sophie Scholl, uh, Christopher Probst uh, are the people that you see there <clears throat> in that image. These were college students uh, who were opposed uh, to what Hitler and the Nazis were doing in Germany and spoke out against it. Matter of fact, they created pamphlets um, and would mail them to random people they found in the phone book. They would take suitcases of them and uh, put them in phone booths all across uh, cities um, in Germany. And uh, because of that, uh, they were actually tried uh, and found guilty. And all three of those uh, brave young people were, were execu executed by uh, means of the guillotine. Um, but again, the White Rose Movement uh, tells you that not everybody was on board and not a lot of people were on board with what Hitler and the Nazis were doing and some actually spoke out against it. Now, let's get to that question of the day. Madagascar, not a DreamWorks animation. Have a conversation at your table.